you. What up? All right. Um. So, uh, we got another one from Patrice O'Neill. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Patrice O'Neill. Yes. Yeah, man. Rest in peace. Yes. What we got? This is from uh, his elephant in the room stand up. This is love and diabetes. Love and diabetes. Mm-hmm. Love and diabetes. Two very very sweet things. Yeah. 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 <laughs> in a way. Hey, yeah. y'all get me. All right, man. Let's go. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Tell you, I'm diabetic, man, and and, and you know, I'm not gonna find a woman that gives care. <laughs> Just off the street. Because diabetes, look, I don't, first of all, I don't support it. I, <laughs> if I didn't have it, I could give a, it's just whatever, dude, really. Can't eat cookies, faggot. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but I got that <clears throat> miserable disease. It's just, it's one of those, it's deteriorating. It's just a, it's just a pain in the ass. Because I can't eat and drink what I want. Like, I can eat as many vegetables as I want. <laughs> but you should have all the Brussels sprouts you ever needed, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why can't I eat pasta and cake? But you can't. And it's hard. It's like being addicted. Food is, I'm telling you, food is an everyday, like, I be like, oh my God, man, food again? I got to think about every day. I got to think. Uh, I go to sleep thinking about food tomorrow. Like, what am I going to do? I, today, I had salad and fruit and I... I'm gonna celebrate tomorrow by having a whole lamb leg <laughs> to celebrate how good I ate yesterday. It's, it's just a suffering. And I understand being addicted. Any smokers, smokers here, anybody? Smoking? See, and that's like, and that's you young man, but you know, you know, it's a, it's, you know, you don't, you're good people. You don't want to die. You know, smokers are like, you just know you're dying, like. <laughs> man, man, dog. Uh. And you're gonna get cancer, like you know you're gonna get cancer. <laughs> and you're giving other people cancer. You're like, you're like, I'm not a bad person. I just can't keep it. I can't keep it uh, down in my system. And then the pack of cigarettes, they used to say things like, uh, cigarettes possibly might <laughs> cause you to be ill at some point in your life. Now they say they will kill you. And you still... <laughs> <laughs> and then you got the cigarette boxes in Canada. You ever see Canada cigarette boxes? They got dead babies on the box. Like it just be like a dead baby. Can you imagine smoking and rationalizing? Uh, imagine you tell yourself, you be like, man, I'm glad I made it past his age. God damn. How old was he when he started smoking? Like a, a day uh, old? Jesus, slow down, nigga. Use a filter. <laughs> Uh, I saw some white chocolate covered Oreos. White Oreos dipped in chocolate, man. I, I could, it was, I was in, in tears. Like, <laughs> knowing I shouldn't eat it, but I was in pain. Like, going, oh my God. And I'm talking to my son, I can't eat these cookies, man. And they're calling me and I'm praying to God. And I'm, and I'm lactose intolerant, but like, if I eat these cookies, I gotta drink milk too. I'm gonna go out like a soldier. It's like, whatever. <laughs> Then you say all kind of weird stuff to you to rationalize eating them. I'd be like, you know what? I don't need both my feet. I'm not a, I'm not a ballerina. I don't, all I need is one so I can drive my car. Uh, I'm going to tell you a quick love story, man. This will sum up how much my girl loved me. And it's amazing. Um, you know, like I said, I'm diabetic, man. But um, you know, it's a true story. When we have sex, we're really, uh, really dirty, man. We we're really dirty. <laughs> and we pee on each other in the whole. <laughs> but 
But that's, don't get past that, because this is true love, so. <laughs> so I'm, we're having sex, right? About two years ago this happened. We're having sex, and then uh, afterwards she's like, you know, that was good, but I think we gotta go to the hospital and get you checked out. I said, why? She said, because your pee tastes like birthday cake. <laughs> Isn't that love? If you can get past the pee part, that's love, right? Well, she's like, oh, your pee is too delicious. I don't, I don't like that. She ain't going, you peed in my mouth, you nasty. She, she's just like, oh my God, your pee tastes, I don't like the way it tastes. It tastes scrumptious. <laughs> what am I doing? You see these three goofy girls look, they like, man, you pee in my mouth. That means you're not going to love me to the degree that I need to save my life, uh, are you? No. <laughs> I don't need you. I don't need you if you can't taste my pee and go, something's <laughs> wrong. You need to go check yourself. <laughs> Judge me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> man, you gotta love Patrice, man. Damn. Uh. You can tell though he really was struggling with that though, mm. not eating what he wanted to eat. <laughs> I can tell, and I guess that will be a struggle for anyone who's diabetic. So, I, you know. oh yeah, man, you gotta lay off the sweet stuff, man. It's gonna do you bad, you know. He said, "I don't need both my feet." <laughs> <laughs> it's a chocolate dip Oreo. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, man, yeah. You're so big as pee. Uh, Tastes delicious, you know what I mean? Like birthday cake. Yeah. That's a nasty ass. <laughs> <laughs> they nasty. He was he was on a nasty show. You know, we did see him on the nasty show and he said all uh, you know, he was nastier than that on the nasty yeah. show. All so, those sex positions and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't put it past him to pee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bitches. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, man. Rest in peace, man. Yes, I'm sure he is. Great I'm sure he is. 